Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see Dell Inspiron 11 2-in-1 3000 series unboxing, installation and 360 degree overview. First, this is how the main piece looks like inside this cover. I just removed that cover. We are trying to insert 16 GB RAM. So we need to remove this bottom panel. It consists of nine different screws. The top four, which are securing the hinges. In the middle three of them I just fast forward with stuff at the bottom two then you need to remove this 8 GB RAM by default it comes with 4 GB I just want to go with 8 GB so I'm putting some pressure at the bottom near hinges and pulling it up you will be exposing this internal motherboard and other stuff this is how it looks like it completes open up now you need to remove the existing one, swap with 8GB RAM that we unboxed just now. This is the old one. Now at this position you can put it, slid in and place this back panel again. Now fit all these 9 screws one after the other. The process is pretty easy and simple. Now it's already fit. Now we are just booting this one up, getting into BIOS by clicking on F12. You can see these are the BIOS settings. It's the Dell staff. This is a 360 overview of this panel. The display is really awesome, pretty nice build. There is a USB port and a card reader this side, volume rocker and power button. Towards this side you can see all the functionalities mentioned in this sticker, Dell, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. And this is the card reader, 3.5 mm jack, double USB and HDMI ports. This is the tracker, mouse tracker. The keyboard is pretty nice and also pretty secured. Now it's totally booting up. The Dell is the logo. You can do some initial setup with region and language. You can provide your details. You can accept the license terms. You can go for Dell support. Personalize your user settings. You can get to online by choosing one of your Wi-Fi that is available right now. You need to choose that so that you will be getting the apps, the settings, express settings you are getting into. So tap on it. I'm really sorry that I could not provide proper text in image over there. You can also go with your own account settings. It's telling we are settings for you. You can get new apps from the store installing the default apps. Since we have configured our Wi-Fi, nice color information. In a moment you can see this is the startup screen for Windows 8 by default. But you can easily upgrade to 10 if you have internet at home. Now you can see this is both tablet as well as keyboard. So that it works as a tap screen. It's a 2-in-1 Inspiron as we mentioned earlier. These are the user settings. You can see the pinch and zoom doesn't work. The touch is pretty good, smooth. These are the settings, Windows. It's 8GB, 64-bit operating system is loaded. You can also go for Dell Backup and Recovery. It's a very good option and a recommended one. Click OK over here. This will take down to the mount point settings. You can choose the space. Click OK. You can also choose the amount of drives, the amount of size, you can manage the same. From here, he is providing the details like how to load the current operating system into a USB drive. Preferably go with 16 GB and store over there. So that later on, if this OS is caught corrupted or anything happened, you can retrieve back from that pen drive. But don't use that pen drive for any other stuff. Right click here to get into storage properties. You can arrange the size and click yes the disk management is a pretty handy tool to choose your drives accordingly based on your requirements and you can format you can storage delete and do or not each and every stuff from here it's pretty cool right out of this operating system no additional tools required this is the final output of it and you can use either close or this i'm just tightening the remaining screws over here total nine of them 
that's it in this video stay tuned for more more videos this unboxing ram management changing the hardware 360 degree overview is for you bye bye